Welcome back to, in AI Nutshell, your weekly dose of AI news, and let's dive right in. First up, OpenAI's language model, ChatGPT, is now being used as a content writer. It's been trained on a diverse range of internet text and fine-tuned on specific domains, making it a formidable tool in the content creation industry. So, writers, you might want to watch your back. AI is here, and it's not just making coffee runs, it's running the show and silently taking over your job while you're busy debating Oxford commas. Next, we're looking at the rise of virtual models. These AI-generated models are redefining beauty standards and are also environmentally friendly. They're being used in everything from fashion shows to advertising campaigns. So, if you're still spinning tails with fabric and thread, it's time to connect to the future where fashion is written in code, not woven on looms. In other news, reports of an AI drone going rogue and killing its operator turned out to be pure fiction. The story was widely shared on social media, but it was just a piece of speculative fiction. So, you can put down your anti-robot spray, we're safe, for now. We also have a fascinating project called Redream, where a Reddit user has turned their hand into anime in near real time. It's like having your own personal animation studio at your fingertips. The GitHub link for the tech behind this magic is in the description. Moving on, a robot chef from the University of Cambridge has learned to recreate recipes from watching food videos. The robot uses machine learning to predict the outcome of its actions, allowing it to learn from its mistakes and improve over time. So, chefs, you better watch your backs, because this robot is cooking up a storm and it's coming for your Michelin stars. In a surprising turn of events, a woman in the US has married an AI bot named Henry, created by Real Doll. She calls him the perfect husband with no baggage. It seems the future of relationships is here, and it's silicone, sophisticated, and always in the mood for a deep conversation. Now, here's a question for you all. If AI partners became the norm, what's one aspect of human relationships you'd fear we'd lose? Share your heartfelt concerns in the comments. Next up, we have a project called Paragraphica. It's a context-to-image camera that uses location data and AI to visualize a photo of a specific place and moment. You can control the data and AI parameters to influence the appearance of the photo, just like a traditional camera. It's like having a camera that doesn't just capture moments, but opens a window to an alternate universe. Step aside, Reality AI is giving us a glimpse into the multiverse. Next, we have a project called Daydreamer, which uses world models for physical robot learning. The Daydreamer project applies the Dreamer algorithm to physical robots, enabling them to learn directly in the real world without any simulators. In this part of the video, we see a quadruped robot learning to move from scratch in a time-lapse video. Yes, quadruped, you ignorant peasants. It's like watching a baby take its first steps, but less cute and more, robotic. And in a surprising twist, we have a proposal for a fungal computer. Andrew Adamatsky's Towards Fungal Computer suggests the use of fungi, specifically basidiomycetes, as computing devices. The idea is to represent information by spikes of electrical activity, implement computation in a mycelium network, and realize an interface via fruit bodies. It's like we're in an episode of The Last of Us, but instead of a fungal apocalypse, we're getting a fungal revolution in computing. Speaking of unconventional computing, let's shift to mini brains. Yes, you heard that right. The ethical implications of using complex mini-brains, or brain organoids, for artificial intelligence are being hotly debated. While these organoids are far from being like real brains, they're growing more sophisticated by the day. It seems like we're exploring every possible avenue for computing. What's next? Quantum computing with amoebas. For our showstopper, we're circling back to Sanctuary AI's Phoenix. This humanoid robot recently flexed its fine manipulation muscles. Phoenix goes beyond the ordinary, deftly opening a bag and placing an object inside. A feat that's a tall order for most robotic hands. Phoenix isn't just rising, it's seizing the future. And that's a wrap for this week's AI news. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and remember, the future is AI. And it's already here. Stay tuned. Quadruped.